Oh, we're up. We're up. Oh. Yes, yes. <laughs> hey, this is pretty comfy. Good morning. We've been on the bus since about seven this morning seven. and we're heading out to the Atlas Mountains. It's changed already. The scenery is so much more lush and treed and beautiful. Quite surprising, I thought, for the desert. We're heading up in a minivan on a tour. It's three days and it's four stops this morning before we get halfway to the Sahara where we will have a camp for the night. Let's go. So this is our second stop and we are looking at a Berber village. Getting up into the mountains now we're at 2,000 meters above where we were this morning and we've lost our trees and all our beautiful vegetation but the views are just stunning as we head up into the Atlas Mountains. Real silver. Atlas Mountains from Hercules. They're absolutely gorgeous. They have all these beautiful little rest stops along the way where you can get coffee, refreshments, and also argan oil, which is made right here. We uh, we'll mix it by hands, okay, for two hours, and each five minutes we add some warm water until the oil uh, go up, okay, until the oil separated, then we squeeze it. This is an old Berber village. It's a Casbah, like rock the Casbah. <laughs> it's a castle and some of it is authentic and real and some of it has been built for movies. If you look at the two towers there, the one to the left was actually built for the old Lawrence of Arabia movie and the one to the right was built for the famous Michael Douglas movie, uh, Jewel of the Nile. And we're also gonna see where Game of Thrones was filmed, which I'm super excited for. Our guy told us that Gladiator 2 was, was being filmed here, but they have since taken down all the things they put up and moved on to Malta to film more scenes. Inside Scoop, you got it here on Track Us Down. We are at the very top of the Berber village. It actually goes back to ancient times. It uh, has a living purpose, so it's pretty neat to be here out in the middle of Morocco, up near the Atlas Mountains, and see some of this amazing history and landscape. And this building behind us was actually the bank for the Berber people who lived in this kasbah, and they all had a little separate safety deposit box where they kept their valuables. Water, lots of water. Everywhere you go here, you need to keep buying water. Here to look at one of the oldest souks in Uraza, and you can see the traditional Berber design. relaxing Arabian night, halfway to the Sahara, after 12 hours on a bus, a beautiful hotel awaits. Just 
to refresh you after 12 hours on the bus. It is day two of our Sahara visit. After 12 hours on the bus yesterday and a lot of stops in the heat, I think we're competing for uh, attention air from a donkey. Airtime here. We have another long day. It's a long way out to the Sahara. So yesterday was 12 hours. Today will be probably close to the same. I think it's going to take about 12 hours, but less kilometers. More right. Stops. A lot of stops. And then tonight we're going to end up in a luxury tent in the Sahara and a camel ride. So we're looking forward to that. What are these? Are these figs? I think so. I think this is a fig. I think that's what you had oh. yesterday. So I'm actually in my very first olive grove. I've never seen olives on branch before. I eat a lot of these. There's so many of them. Pretty cool. So here is what a pomegranate tree looks like. I've never seen one this close up before. And here's a pomegranate. Apparently it's ready next month. Today's going to probably be another hot day, so we're prepared. We're prepared, but we've learned so much about the Moroccan people and the Berber people and how they live. It's, it's been a really good tour so far. We had a good night at the hotel last night at Pool. And so come along for the day two of our Sahara visit. Let's go. Even the donkeys are coming for some refreshment. and right up into the top is still Morocco and that is where we are heading out for the night. So we're heading out here to the Sahara Desert, the real desert. I feel like Lawrence of Arabia. This is the real thing. Heading out to the camels? Heading out for our first camel ride for the sunset camel ride and I'll learn to tie this scarf. Okay, I'm gonna put this on. I think this is right. <laughs> That's not even close, hon. <laughs> I think it's something like this, isn't it? Hold here. Yeah, because it's windy. Yes. How do I look? You look great. Like this, and yeah. to put it back on. Put it back on you. And tuck it you here. Arrange it and tuck it here. Perfect. Hello, my friend. Are you going to be my friend? Pretty comfy. And she is up. Ride it, Monique, ride it. Here we go. Off to the Sahara. Hi. Hi. Hi, Cammy. I petted him. Edwin's heading out across the twice trade here. Got a long, hot journey across the Sahara ahead of us. No technology on this one, Monique is not on her iPhone. 
Oh, that is a hot glass furnace. Welcome to the Sahara. Can't wait for the night and under the stars here. All right, our camel ride is over and we are at our luxury accommodation tent for the evening. It was fun, I really enjoyed it. Beautiful camel ride and now it's time to hit the camp for some wine under the Sahara desert sky. Thank you camels. And this is our camp for the night luxury oasis in the middle of the Sahara Desert. Look at all that sand. Apparently we have our own stop. And I see red carpet, which I always love. Welcome to the camp. As with everywhere in Morocco, everything begins with mint tea. So we're here at our luxury camp and we are unit number 23. Let's go have a look. Knock, knock. Welcome. This is our stay for the night in the luxury camp. Come on in. Beautiful queen size bed. Look at the lights. There is power here, which is really nice. And they have a little charging station next to the bed. Some flap windows. I'm not sure how cold it gets if you leave them up or down. This is beautiful. This is incredibly beautiful for the middle of the desert where we are. In case you are wondering, we booked through Viator and it was approximately 170 euros per person for the three night tour. Now that included the hotel last night, this luxury camp and transportation, breakfasts and dinners. And we're heading off to another dinner right away. But first, look at this a beautiful bathroom for the evening. Over here, full-size shower. Look at that. Nice and clean in the desert. Beautiful sink. And apparently there's hot water, which is nice. And the washroom is behind here. Private toilet in the desert. We are gonna be absolutely perfect here tonight. Cheers to a successful three-day jaunt to the Sahara, our first visit to the Sahara, and it has exceeded expectations in so many ways, from raw beauty to extreme heat. It's been absolutely beautiful. Morocco is definitely a must-see, and a trip to the Sahara is amazing. Tonight, we enjoyed a really nice dinner here in our luxury camp, and now they have music in the background and a fire, and we just walked out here to the desert. It's just dunes and sand everywhere everywhere. Absolutely beautiful. We're up early tomorrow morning and we're gonna have a quicker ride back to our van than we had on the camels. It's gonna be a lot of fun. So we'll see you tomorrow morning bright and early. Good morning. Good morning. Well that was a rough sleep. It was about 40 Celsius all Maybe night. it went down to 39, I'm not sure. Maybe 39, <laughs> but it was so hot. There's no fans, of course there's no air conditioning, and a sandstorm. There was a huge sandstorm. You could hear dogs barking all throughout the night. We didn't sleep much, but it's almost 5.30 and breakfast is at 5.30, and then we leave camp, so it's a quick turnaround, but we're ready to go. This is fun, but I think we need to go a little faster. This should be a little bit faster than the camels. Let's go.
30 in the morning and the sun is just about to rise and we're going to watch the sunrise. That's where our camp was last night. It has been so much fun out here in the Sahara Desert. This is just unreal. It is definitely something to check off your bucket list. You feel alone out here and you just feel like you're part of the sands of time. Wow, did that sound cheesy. If you enjoy our videos, please like and subscribe to our channel. We really appreciate it. And as always, check back in and track us down.